In 1973, Phyllis had just turned six years old. She was living with her grandmother on the Dog Creek Reservation. They never had too much money, but somehow Granny managed to buy her a new outfit to go to mission school. And she remembers going to the store to pick out a shiny orange shirt. And she felt so bright and exciting to be going to school. When they got to the mission school, they stripped her of all her clothes, including the orange shirt, and she never wore it again. She didn't understand why they wouldn't give it back to her. It was hers. It made her feel so small. After a while, the orange shirt always reminded her of how her feelings didn't matter, how no one cared, and how she felt like she was worth nothing. All the little children were crying, and no one cared. When she was 13.8 years old in grade 8, she gave birth to a son named Jeremy. Because her grandmother and mother both attended residential school for 10 years, she never knew how to be a parent or what it was supposed to be like. On September 30th, we are reminded of all the children that went to residential schools. Over 150,000 children attended these schools. Over 6,000 of them died while attending these schools based on partial federal records. Approximately 80,000 survivors of these schools are alive today. The indigenous people went through a forced assimilation, separation from family, poor quality of life, sexual abuse, inadequate education, cycles of family abuse over generations, frequent student deaths, and cruel punishments. In Red Deer is home of one of the industrial schools. that had one of the highest mortality rates in all of Canada. Today, as we take our journey to truth and reconciliation, we highlight the word truth. For those of you who are out there, and reconciliation is at your heart. The first thing that has to come to mind is truth. Let everybody know what happened in Canada. Let everybody know the truth. <laughs>